Hello everyone, I'm here with the ASP Airweight Talon Baton and this is a push button style baton uh, which makes for easier operation over a traditional friction lock baton. Now to open a friction lock required a sharp motion of your wrist to open it and uh, lock it in place. And to close a friction lock I require that you bring the tip straight down on a hard surface to break that lock. And uh, opening the newer Talon style baton is very easy, very simple. Simple to grasp the tip, pull it out, and lock it in place. And to close it, simply depress the button in the handle and apply pressure to close it up. Of course, you can always choose to open this in a more high profile manner with a snapping motion of your wrist. Now, this is the 50 centimeter model, it's about uh, 20 inches. And I measured that, just check for accuracy, about 19 and 3 quarter inches, I believe 50 centimeters is about 19.6 um, uh, uh, some inches. So it's uh, quite uh, dead on, on the, on the length there. And uh, being uh, aluminum, aluminum baton, it weighs in at only 11.5 ounces. And uh, as far as aluminum, it's uh, almost all aluminum. Uh, the center shaft and the handle are of 70-75 grade aluminum while the striking outer shaft is a 4140 steel. So of course it uh, has the, the durable foam handle on it. And um, as far as uh, uh, durability and build on it, I found that the tolerances were quite tight um, when I compared it with um, another push button baton like uh, this baton here some from Monadnock. And uh, just to show you a few differences on it, uh, this is the Monadnock Autolock HG uh, baton, also a push button baton. Let me show it here. Same type of operation. And um, uh, if you can see, uh, notice here, closed, the Monadnock uh, gives a little bit, makes a little bit of noise, um, whereas the ASP, uh, don't hear anything out of that. And uh, opening the Monadnock has a, has a little, quite a bit of give on it. Of course, that doesn't take away from the functionality. This is a very sturdy baton, and it's definitely going to get the job done for you. But if you notice on the Talon baton, it has a lot less give. It's got a much tighter, tighter tolerance on it. You can just feel it, you can hear it a little bit, but you can hear that on the Monadnock. So uh, I'd say just a tighter, a little bit more refined uh, version of the push button baton. Uh, with a with a talon, so um, that's it. Uh, let's see here. We have some paperwork that comes with it. This baton. They uh, give a few uh, details on on how this is built, and of course, uh, operating procedures on it. Down here, uh, carrying it, expanding it, and all that, retracting it. So, um, and that's it for that. Of course, uh, not everybody is uh, able to have this baton. It's uh, uh, another restricted item, so uh, something you're going to have to check with your local laws. And it's, uh, This uh, is an item that's made made for law enforcement and uh, military type individuals. So, Alright, thank you all for checking in and hope this all helped you out.